Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In an exclusive interaction to Focus News, the DRDO's chief Dr. Samir V. Kamath has informed that the new class of missiles like Rudram 1 and Rudram 2 have undergone successful trial and testing. This is the first time that DRDO's chief has officially confirmed about the trial of Rudram 2 missile. Taking this opportunity, let's discuss in detail about the capabilities of Rudram 1 and Rudram 2 missiles and how they are going to boost Indian Air Force firepower. Rudram 1 is India's first indigenously developed anti-radiation missile that has a speed of Mach 2 and can be launched from an altitude of 500 meters to 15 km with maximum operational range of 200 km. The missile weighs close to 600 kg with a warhead of 60 kg. It uses pre-fragmented warhead with optical proximity fuse and is powered by a dual pulsed solid rocket motor. The missile features dual seeker system comprising of passive homing head and millimeter wave active seeker. The primary guidance system of Rudanam 1 is onboard passive homing head which provides mid-course guidance. The homing head is capable of detecting a radio frequency emission from 100 km away. Its accuracy is further improved with the help of INS GPS navigation. The millimeter wave seeker is used for the end game or terminal phase guidance. The millimeter wave seeker will ensure that even though radar is turned off or moved away, it is located and destroyed. It also enables the missile to discriminate between an actual target and a decoy. The missile also features two-way data link and is capable of lock-on before launch and lock-on after launch modes. Su-30 MKI will be the primary platform for Rudram-1 and in future it will also be integrated with other fighter jets of Indian Air Force. The missile is expected to have circular error probability of 5 meters. The missile has completed the developmental trials and preparations are underway for user trials which is expected to begin from the mid of year 2023. The last reported test of Rudram-1 was conducted on 9th October 2020. In November 2022, ANI has also reported that Indian Air Force has moved a proposal worth Rs 1400 crore to government for acquiring Rudram next generation anti radiation missiles to search and destroy enemy radar locations. The Rudram 2 is going to be a hypersonic aero ballistic air to ground missile under development by DRDO. The missile will have a solid rocket motor for propulsion with a range of 50 to 300 kilometers. The missile will have peak speed of 5.5 Mach, that is a hypersonic speed. The Su-30 MKI and Miraz 2000 are going to be its primary launch platform. However, at later stage, this can be integrated with LCA Mark II. The missile can be launched at an altitude of 3 to 15 km with a launch speed between 0.5 to 1.5 Mach. Now, the most interesting part of this missile is its trajectory and it does not follow the complete parabolic path as that of a typical ballistic missile. As we can see the poster shared for Rudram 2 by Swamidip Sarkar, the missile's initial launch is around 15 km and the missile goes up first reaches apogee of 40 km. After reaching the maximum altitude, the missile begins to descend. By the time the missile has reached the peak height of 40 km, it would have also covered a horizontal distance of 100 km. The missile continues to descend till it achieves an altitude of 20 km. By this time, missile would have also covered the horizontal distance of 200 km. The missile then changes its trajectories and moves slightly upward and then descends again. This is done to give missile the capability to attack at an angle of 80 degree, which is almost vertical or top attack. The overall flight duration of missile is 400 seconds and the range is of 300 kilometers. The trajectory followed by Rudram 2 makes its detection very, very difficult. Now, as we have reported earlier, the missile will have two variants for different roles and of course, different seeker for different roles. The two roles are ARM that is anti-radiation missile and ground attack roles. 
When used as ARA missile, it will feature dual seeker with passive homing head and IIR seeker, which makes it jam proof and enhances the accuracy of attack. While the passive homing head enables the missile to track the source radiating radio waves such as surface to air missile system, fire control radar, or surveillance radar, the IIR seeker would assist to differentiate between a decoy and actual target. In ARM role, the warhead used is pre-fragmented one with weight close to 155 kg. Its angle of attack will be between 40 to 50 degrees. In ground attack mode, the missile will feature only IIR seeker. It will have penetration come blast warhead of 200 kg and its angle of attack will be more that is 80 degrees. The missile can be used to target bunkers, airstrip and air hangars. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.